please, Snickers, I can have, I can have, yeah. Yeah. It was the big daddy every day. So today, I've got one of my faves. Well, my fave, really. I use this as a workhorse. Anyway, this is Zubuntu 1610. Don't come back. And very nice it is, too. Very polished. Done lots of stuff inside. And it made it very, very super duper. And I'm quite liking it at the moment. Yeah. Just as a test bed, of course. I wouldn't use it for my full system at the moment because it's only there for nine months, remember. This is not an LTS release whatsoever. But on the whole, my use in it at the moment is very, very, very good. I'm really liking it. Okay, we'll do the usual. I'm not going to leave. It's not going to be an in-depth look at it, really. You don't really need to, because it's only an update release, really, at the end of the day. And they're testing new stuff out. So all the usuals here, what you would normally use. If I just go down to the internet, you get Firefox, Pigeon for your messaging, Chunderbird and Transmission, as you'd expect. I actually installed Inkscape just to make sure it was all working hunkily of the dory, and of course, it really is. I'm liking it very much. So, it's Victor Graphics, one of the best out there. It's been around donkey's years. It does what it says on your tin of stuff. Okay? Nice. But one of the main big things with uh, Zubuntu this time around, we've gone over to GTK3, okay? So this is another reason why it's a little bit quicker and everything started to fit together, to really, to be honest with you. As you can see, I've put in record my desktop, just to make sure it bleed and worked. Not that I use it all the time. I do use record my desktop, but not on newer systems. If I'm using an older Puppy Linux or an older distro that I know is going to go bang with a newer recorder, I still use record my desktop. It still does it what it says on the tin. Yes, it's not multi-thread, so I won't be getting all the threadage out of it that I should do. Bearing in mind, I've got 16 threads, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, yeah. If we go to advanced, it's all the same here. Nothing's changed whatsoever. Obviously, 15 frames a second is... But if you've got an old machine, that's all it can do. 15 frames a second will do, okay? Remember, you will have to reset this to 44, 100. I find your sound's going to be terrible. And where it says default here, change that to lowercase, and everything should start working correctly for you, okay? I don't know what I'm telling you about record my desktop, because it's so donkey jongs old, but at the end of the day, it still works, which is what we need, okay? Oh, yeah, that's the same I installed anyway here. Yeah. So let's go to the software centre. Now, as you know, it's all changed over to GNOME software centre, as you can see here. This is the only thing I do with it. I wanted to think about it, you see what I mean? It's, it's thinking about it like the old one, and I wasn't very happy. But... Maybe it's just a hiccup, because on Ubuntu itself, it didn't happen. Now we've got no maps here. That's all right. Let's have a look. Let's see what it says about no maps. All right. Ooh, how big is that then? It's only 2.3 megabytes. Should we get that? And see how it works. It is quite a snappy installation process, so we'll just click on there. There we go. It's installing. Once my password. Off we go. Installing, installing, installing. I don't know where that would go. Where would that... Where would that go, do you think? Under graphics or multimedia? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. There we go. So we're going to launch it anyway. Tell me where it is. No, it doesn't. Okay. Anyway. Let's go and see where it is. No maps. So I go to all. Go to g. Oh, well, it's not there now, is it? Or will it just be maps? Oh, it is. Under maps. Let's have a look. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ah, yes. If I go over here and we zoom in, and we zoom in. No, it's a bit too far that way, ladies. Oh, there's my coast. Look, da 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 da. Chicklecock. Played some football matches there. I can tell you. So we're going to scroll in. I scroll out. Scrolled in too far there. Da da da. da. We go around here. We're on up here somewhere. Look. I'm all the way up there. I tell you what, that's pretty good actually. I'm impressed. That's pretty good. That's my little town, by the way. That's it. We're miles away from anything, as you can see. We're the biggest thing, apart from these big ones down here, I know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that works pretty well. What else we got in this menu? That actually works properly. So, systems, the usual. Settings, the usual. Additional drive accessibility, Bluetooth manager. It's all there. You greet her and stuff like that. <clears throat> Under office. This time we do get the full LibreOffice suite. You don't get Abbey Word and the other one, okay? No. I just, Abbey Word is fine for small distributions, okay? 
But when you've got a big distribution like Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Lubuntu, and Mate, and all the other big ones, Fedora and everything else, you, you, you can use the full suite. You don't really have to cut back and use a tiny, tiny thing. Obviously, if you don't want it, take it out. It's entirely up to you. But hey, why, why bother? So, LibreOffice, zooms along, look, nicey, nicey. What more can I say? Let's go to the calc section. There you go. It just works, doesn't it? So you don't need the others. No, you don't need the others. Okay. Anyway, we was oh yeah, graphics talked about games. You only get mine and Sudoku and stuff like that. So don't worry. Education, nothing really. Accessories. You do get your calculator. Yep. So that works all there. And accessories again. Character map, farm manager, mouse, blah 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 blah. Arrange global time. Take a screenshot and it Ah, of course. So yeah. So one last time. All I'm saying, <clears throat> the base of 16.10 has made everything a lot quicker and all the distributions all the way along. So I'm pretty impressed, to be honest with you. Uh, oh, somebody said, what do I use for recording? I use all of them, really, but trying to get a simple screen recorder on this one easily wasn't easy. So you have to get the PPA at the end of the day, all right? Just remember that, just in case. So I've got to the Bebica. That's how he renders today. I'm not going to play any videos, because I know it does play, so there's no point in me doing it. There we go, blah 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 blah. Oh look, Hilda Ogden has died. Oh, never mind. Anyway, Zubuntu 1610, super fine, 5 out of 5 from me. Sneaky looks. Bye bye.